All right, guys. Got the frog body off. Got all the sensors off of it. Hey, y'all know how to do that. Let's get that little seal. And all your sensors come right off. You know, like normally to get them out of the way. Now what we got to do, I done found how they do this. It's not that complicated. We got to get these, I don't know if y'all can see them. I can't barely see, but we got to get these two screws out of here. They're bratted on the back side, center punch to where they won't go through. You don't want to mess your threads up, so I'm going to drill, drill, and then we'll either get some more screws to put in there or we'll lock tie them back in. But all your boring, I haven't measured it yet. I have to get my snap gauges out and check it but here is big down here is where they're boring them at the ones on ebay i'm pretty sure because you could fill a hell of a radius right here it's that much you see that gap all the way around the gasket that's how big the hole is going into the intake all that there on this side is the same as the gasket they're narrowing it down right here. I know why they do it for, for velocity or um, low end torque or low end yeah low end torque off 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 idle. So we may just end up taking this out to get our 62 millimeters or whatever it is. I'm gonna figure it up right now before I say what we're gonna do it at. But um, doesn't look like it's gonna be all that. We did get the jig made. Let me. Well, I already put tape on it, so I can't. I put tape on it where I could chuck it back up this way. Put tape on it where I could chuck it back up without marring the finish. But that fits down in there. Now we got to turn this end to fit in here. Just where we can drill and tap our holes and get this mounted on there where we can bore it out. But the first thing I'm going to do is get this throttle plate out of here. I'll work on that. I'm just going to take a drill bit on the drill press and go down in there and drill a little bit. Just to whack off that recessed spot there, that swelled up spot. Um, to lock them in and then we can get them out of there. I'll turn you back on when I get the throttle body out or that throttle plate out That's as high as the tripod to go. So It is what it is And that was too big We find another drill bit we'll get on this Good thing is I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's already a center punch hole right dead center of the screw I'm going to put the old long reach on it, see if it runs true enough. It's been a rough week, boys. JP's uh, should have got his weapon today. I'm not worried about him, you know, it's just your kids, you worry about your kids, but, you know, I know he's got it, but, uh, it's been a rough week. I'm just gonna touch it and let it just chew it away a little bit. Not put too much pressure on it to bend the mess the shaft up. took them high spots off. Alright, let me get that out of there.
threads are good. We'll just lock tight them back in there and rebrad them or peen them is what you would really call that peen. Top of our throttle plate has the part number on it. Throw that to the side. Now, now we get to figure out how the throttle shaft comes out. It's probably just tapped in there, press fit, and it is. There it is right there. Alright, lay him to the side. Now we got a clear shot to the back side of that thing. All right, I'm gonna get my snap gauges. We're not, we don't have much right here where this goes around, where your um, air breather goes on there. There's not very much metal there. So it looks like it's all gonna be down in there. Let me get it cleaned up in the parts washer. We'll do some measurements where I can tell y'all exactly what we got, what we got to work with. through it a little bit better and see if you can tell down here in the bottom see that radius where it gets smaller right here they do that for velocity for off idle throttle but in four low I'm, I'm talking about four high two-wheel drive going to get groceries easing off from a red light that type of stuff but in four low well, what we do we're going we'll see what it what it make difference it makes anyway but we can open it up to the size of that gasket right there we got plenty of metal because we know this this radius here is that that's that big so we can make it that this big here easily let's see what the millimeters is on this i'll have to do the math to see but that's a two inch 232 let's see what it is right here Two inch three six fifty. Let me write that down. Let me pause, y'all. Ain't prepared. Right, let's do that again. Yeah, 
Let's see what we got in the bottom. I don't even think the bottom's close enough to use a two inch snap gauge. Yeah, close. That's our difference from bottom to top. Two inch two, two inch two, fourteen. It's fifty thousandths right there, difference. Actually, 52 thousandths difference. If I'm doing my math right, and I don't have my calculator out here, but I think that's what that is. Let me uh, let me see what two inch 360 is in millimeters. Two inch 363. Let's just do it like this, 2.363 in millimeters, 60 millimeters, what's the stock XJ? Stock XJ throttle body. I should do this when I'm, uh, before I make the video, but y'all, uh, Y'all know me better than that. Stock XJ throttle body. Let me look it up, making y'all stare at nothing. Okay. 55 millimeter stop from what I can find. Now at the top up here, in here, we're 60 millimeters, but in here, I bet we're 55. Six, 236 like I was saying I was one thousandths off on my measurement but if we take this to this we're 60 millimeters and then we ain't got to mess with the butterfly or anything there's a radius down in here where the butterfly rise we just won't touch that we'll come in here with the boring bar take all this out then polish that up and then right around this radius right here where they radiused it it's not true we'll go in there and radius that true just here at the top maybe down just a little bit almost to the throttle shaft there just kind of take a little tiny cut to smooth it out but take all of this out and we should have a 60 millimeter throttle body or we will have a 60 millimeter throttle body So, how y'all think that sounds? <clears throat> I think it'd be smooth like hair grease. I'm gonna try it. All right, I'm gonna cut down our center plug. Let me move my tools out of the way where we can talk. And we'll get on the lathe turned on and go ahead and cut this piece down where it'll fit and get this deal done. We got, I'll go ahead and pull the tape off where I can show y'all. I put the tape on there because I was going to chuck it up and I forgot about y'all. And I was like, well, I told them I would, 
I got that fitted very tight in there. Now I need to cut, we need to cut this end down to fit in here. That way we can set that on there centered, drill and tap our holes, mount this back in the chuck, bore it out, put it all back together, throw it on the Jeep, see what it does. The only thing I'm worried about that interrupted cut right here, but it should be fine. It's just aluminum. But I'm going to get on to turning this. And uh, turning that down to that, to that 2121, 2-inch, two one, two one, two 214, where it'll fit inside there. And then I'll get it all drilled out, and I'll turn y'all back on when we're, uh, maybe when we're boring it, maybe when I'm turning it out. We'll see how it goes. Let's try that. I'll try to keep my back out. Shot. It's probably loud up there. I got fans on and everything else, but it's a little hot in there. Let's see if the audio is too bad, then we'll just uh, do away with it. Can you sit it at? Let's try 360.
Uh, we got a 180 to come off of it to match what our throttle body is. So I'm going to take 50 more, which will be 100. I'm going to turn up our feed. Matter of fact, see that's, let's give it a lot and see if it breaks the chip. Let's see how fast it is. when you're cutting little cuts off of it, it'll break the chip, but these these uh, inserts ain't made for aluminum. It's wanting to weld to it a little bit. Uh, let's just quick check it. 226 or two, 2260. We need to be 214. For a quick check, 2168 on this. You can zero it and measure what you got. 80, 90 thousandths. So let's go 40 more quick cut and then we'll take a fine cut. Let's take 30. Let's take 30 more. make it pretty on the last pass. Two 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 four. We need two two four one. <clears throat> the 
right there, buddy, right there. I always double check my measurements because I don't like to uh, waste metal. You can measure the inside of the board. This is just a rough zero. You go back to got about ten thousandths to go per side which is what I got here we're 224 we need to be 214 uh -huh. let's take let's go for and take 10 
Alright. I don't know how that went. I don't know if I posted or not. If it was terrible when I did, I'm sorry. It might have been shitty, but uh, let me get it, get you down off of here. Alright, guys, I recorded doing that. I don't know if I'm going to put it up, but I'll, I'll turn that to fit in here. Okay, let's take our tape off. See what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. Now. She's centered up. That's my way of doing that. It can never go absolutely perfect, can it? Let's <laughs> see that. It's all right though. We can get just of what we need to do out of our little jig. All we gotta do is make four holes there to drill. It ain't gotta be sitting flat down on there. All right. Now I'm gonna take transfer punches find the one that fits it the best I'm thinking this one right y'all damn that thing's got rust on them already need to do something with that smaller damn that was smaller than it looks Oh, bitch, right here. All right, I'm going to bam, 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 four holes, all that just to make the four holes, but uh, I'll do all that, drill and tap it, get it bolted down, and we'll go from there. I seem like I'm rushing, don't I, but I want to try this, maybe tomorrow. All right, we did all that aluminum turning. That's a pretty good fit right there, boys, if I gotta say so myself. <laughs> it makes a... Let's listen. Bear with me. stuck now playing. See if we can get it to it. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but that was the first that's the first number I hit on my new lathe. Is that number right there? To fit down in there. I'm proud of that. I'm just out I've just been doing this shit. I might just leave that off for a minute because Lord it is loud in here with all that stuff on. But there ain't nothing I can do about it, guys, unless I tried to play with the volume last time. I made a video, and uh, it went away. The volume went away. I might monkey with it again, this one, to see if I can get any better. That's all we made that for, just to center them to get these four holes where we wanted them, those four divots. They fell about where I said they would in the video, pretty damn close. But I'll take a better center punch, or I'll just take a center drill. I got some center drills we'll put in there. We'll center drill them, and they'll be dead nuts on. Um, I'll figure out what size bolt we're going to use, and I, I'll go ahead and get on that. We'll do that tonight, too. I ain't got nothing else to do. <coughs> little bitty bitty. Get your 
back in the frame. where I can see my mark. Guys, we got it ready for our tap, our drill tap, our tap for our drill. And uh, we'll tap it out. Let's see if our holes are jiving still. pretty good to me I don't know if y'all can see down in there but they're center so now I'm gonna take a minute we're gonna find a bolt with a shoulder that'll hold these all tight I don't have a reamer but I'm gonna clean these out to where it's holding that as, as true as we can get it let's see what we got on the bottom side as far as how much we got before we're gonna hit metal again Oh yeah, I hit that. Yeah. Man, that'll work perfect. Alright. Alright guys, I'm going to hunt up some bolts and tap and this might be it, this might not be it. Look at there, Jeep puts a Jeep puts a roller bearing in there. Both sides. Sweet. That used to be the killer of carburetors back in the day. It'd wear that bore out and start leaking air, but they got roller bearings in there. They build us some good stuff, man. All right, my battery's dying. I'll, uh, I think I'll have to make a part two to bore it, or part three. You guys take it easy. It's been a rough week. My boy's gone to the military, becoming a Marine. He's probably come back in, uh, three months. We'll get to see him again. And then he'll be going to base and to Japan and who the hell knows where he's going to end up. But that's what I raised him to do. 
and uh, he's doing it. And uh, I love him for it. You guys take it easy. We'll make it part three to this, and we'll be boring that throttle body out probably tomorrow. Today is Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday. We'll bore it out, put it on Jeep, and we'll go wheel it and see what it does if you see any difference in it.